Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to go over how to farm the first part of the Gates of Credit mission using a 55 HP Monk. Now this is more of the traditional method on how to farm this, you could also use Ray of Judgment instead of Shield of Judgment if you like. It's basically the same build, but I think Shield is just slightly a bit easier. Um, you could also use Judgment Strike, which is that 15 year anniversary update skill that we got along with the anniversary weapon. I'll leave a link in the description for a video on how to do that, but Anyway, for this, once you enter, use your Shout Hero to give yourself a speed boost and run into this corner. And you want to look at this enemy group that's far out there by the tree. And once one or two of those enemies start to move, uh, you could go ahead and run back around this house to the farming location just like any other farm. So the reason we did that is because there's some sort of trigger that activates when you stand there and the enemies start to move. And it'll basically spawn more enemies when you reach the farming location, which is good because it can mean more items for you. So anyway, you want to run to the bottom of this hill where you can aggro the Hellhound and spawn the Grasping Ghouls. The Ghouls can spawn pretty much anywhere in that general location, so you may have to go down a little bit farther, so just be aware of that. And then you always want to maintain Protective Spirit and either Shield of Absorption or Shielding Hands. You always need at least one of those two skills up, so you have to cycle them, and that way you're not taking any damage. And they also do deal uh, conditions on you, so you want to always maintain Mystic Regeneration. So once you have a, uh, a good cycle going with those first four enchantment skills, then you could start casting your Shield of Judgment, LOD, and Smite Condition to start dealing damage. And then just keep cycling all those skills until they all die. And the hardest part of this farm is just maintaining either Shielding Hands or Shield of Absorption, and basically keeping track so you could keep a cycle up of having one of them maintained at all times. And if you don't, you'll die really quickly. But once you start killing a few of the ghouls and hellhounds, a few more will spawn down below and start attacking you. And once a few of those die, more enemies will start to come in around the corner here, mostly ranged attackers, and start attacking you as well. And the mesmers and the archers, uh, those are the ones that we triggered earlier when we first started the mission, those are the extra enemies. And this is also why I prefer Shield of Judgment instead of Rhea Judgment. Uh, mainly because you can just put shield up and it, the ranged attackers take damage as well. Whereas with Ray of Judgment, you can only target one group of enemies at a time. At least with this method, you could probably ball them uh, slightly differently to use Ray of Judgment, but this is just me. I like to use shield, so uh, this is just how I do it. And then once you get down to maybe one or two ghouls, or they, they might all be dead at this point, it all depends on... Uh, basically your aggro and how often Shield of Judgment uh, ticks off on them. Uh, you want to run down to the bottom and get next to the ranged targets, any that are left, and do the same thing again. So LOD and Smite Condition deal AoE damage around you. So now that you only have a few more enemies left, you could start spiking those as well with those AoE skills. So it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, but it's a bit of a pain to maintain with the Shield of Absorption and Shielding Hands, but once you get a hang of it, it's pretty simple. So anyway, that's really all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. And if you enjoy this kind of stuff, I'm always making Guild Wars 1 related content, so please consider subscribing. And with that, I just want to say good luck, have fun, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.